Here we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the length of the hypotenuse. I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 3 squared is 9, 11 squared is 121. So if I add those together, I get 130. To solve this for the hypotenuse, I need to square root both sides. 130 is not going to come out to a perfect number when we take the square root, so we can just leave it in its square root format. If it does come out to an, a nice perfect square, please convert it to that. So here I have three different coordinate points, and our goal is to figure out the distance, which distance between which two points is the longest. And we're going to just sketch in here. Now, these are diagonal, so we can't just count the grid to figure out how far these are away from each other. But we do know several pieces of information about right triangles. And we can create a right triangle coming off of this to then calculate the length of the hypotenuse. So we're going to come back to this problem after we've had an opportunity to look further into finding distance on a coordinate plane. So in number one, it asks us to find the length of AC. It's very important that you pay close attention to the scale on your axes because if it's counting by twos, then the length is going to be two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. But if it's counting by ones, then we're going to need to pay attention to this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From 2 to 11, that's a length of 9. And we're going to include the units. If it tells us specifically that this is a centimeter grid or an inch grid, we would say 9 centimeters or 9 inches. Here in problem 2, again, pay close attention to the scale of the axis. From 2 to 14, that's a difference of 12. But we can confirm that by counting. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we will say this is 12 units. Now we have the two that we just found connected by a diagonal. So this was 12, and this one over here was 9. And this piece is our hypotenuse. So we can use Pythagorean theorem to determine the length of that diagonal. 9 times 9 is 81. 12 times 12 is 144. 81 plus 144, we would get 225 is c squared. We just want to know about c, so to undo a square, we use the square root, and c is 15. For this one, we need to draw in the right triangle, so we're going to drop a line straight down from here and create a line going straight out from here so that we create this right angle in the corner. Now you can see here that we went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 boxes this way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in this direction. So we have an 8 by 11 right triangle. 8 times 8 is 64, 11 times 11 is 121. Let's add these together, that gives us 185 
to undo a square, we take a square root. But that doesn't come out to a perfect square, so we're just going to leave it in its square root format. For this one, we're going to need to use the Pythagorean theorem several times because none of the side lengths of this triangle are straight. They're all going in a diagonal. So let's create a right triangle coming off of each of these sides. So again, straight up and down and straight across. Straight up and down and straight across. Straight up and down and straight across. So I'm going to solve these in three separate pieces. Here I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for this side here, we have a three by six. Three squared is nine. 6 squared is 36. If we add those together, we get 45. Again, undo a square by using a square root. Now we're going to solve this green section. I'm going to end up with several letter C's. So instead of using a C, I'm going to use another variable for this green one, just so that way we don't get them all confused. Here have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. We'll use an X this time. Three squared is nine, eight squared is 64. Oops. Nine plus 64 is 73. Undo that square by taking the square root. For this blue one, we have a three, one, two, three, four, five. We'll use a Y this time. Three squared is nine, five squared is 25. Nine plus 25 is 34. Take the square root of both sides. So Y is the square root of 34. Now to determine if it's a right triangle, we need to use these three different side lengths and see if they come out equal when we place those numbers in the Pythagorean theorem. So the longest of these between 34, 45, and 73 is 73. So that's gonna go in the C's position. So we can have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If you square and square root, those are inverse operations. They undo each other. Same thing here. The square and the square root kind of cancel each other out. And we get this. Now if I add 45 and 34, that would give me 79. Is 79 equal to 73? No, they are not. So this is not a right triangle. Because 79 is not equal to 73. This one asks which points are farthest apart. So like I said, we're going to revisit that problem from the very beginning. So 
So we're going to go straight down. And straight across. This is a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Straight across and straight down. That's two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Straight down. Straight across, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it isn't asking us if it's a right triangle, it's just asking us to determine which one's the longest. So we'll only need to do three sets. Eight squared plus ten squared is C squared. That is sixty-four. And 100 here I have 2 squared and 12 squared let's use a different letter than C 4 plus 144 that is 148 so if we square root that, that'll give us x. And for this last one, we have 4 squared plus 12 squared equals y squared. That is 16 and 144. If we add these together, that would give us 160. And we'll square root to get just y. Well, the longest out of all of these is 164, that's greater than 148 and 160, which is the purple one connecting points C and B. So they are the farthest apart because the square root of 164 is greater than the square root of 160 and 148. Make sure your warm-up is finished with those um, calculated hypotenuses, hypotenuse, however you say that, and your workbook is filled in for this lesson.